child, parent, parent, child. If you have a credible father or a credible mother, you will listen to them. Yes. You will still go and say, ah, let me sound it by my... Yes. So when people teach things like, you are not supposed to be listening to your parents again, that's another extreme that is error. You do not own a child, right? Your child only came through you as a channel to this planet. If you have done a good job, your child will grow into his own, right? But you can still do a good job and your child takes a mind of his own. It doesn't mean you have failed. A disciplined child can think, challenge concepts, and innovate. This guy uses other people's thoughts to survive. He's not, what, is, what is calling his thought? He doesn't even know what it is. So he's surviving on other people's thoughts, what they are telling him. Right? So he doesn't have a mind of his own. He's not challenging it. So they told him 2 a.m. is when witches gather, he believes. And he begins to promote it too. If you have a credible father or a credible mother, you will listen to them. Absolutely. You will still go and say, ah, let me sound it by my... So when people teach things like, you are not supposed to be listening to your parents again, that's another extreme that is error. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If my father was Obama, I, well, my father was Bill Gates, and I'm starting a business, and I'm 40, who else would I listen to? You do not own a child, right? Your child only came through you as a channel to this planet. Because many of us behave as if we own these children. Um, so... When the child grows older and he doesn't want to have anything to do with you, you think you have failed. You think the ideas have gotten you. No, your child has a mind of his own, has a life of his own, right? Honestly, if you have done a good job, your child will grow into his own, right? But you can still do a good job and your child takes a mind of his own. It doesn't mean you have failed. The most important skill in our robot parenting are observation that I believe observation, oftentimes, people who have not mastered the natural want to master the supernatural. And I think that's the biggest problem we have. That we have not learned how to be human beings. You know, that's the basic level. If all you can learn is how to be a human being, you'll be fine. Are we together? So we have not learned how to be human, because there are things human beings do that we are not doing yet. So we have not perfected how to be, and look at the word human being, not human doing. So it's being. So we have not mastered how to be, but we are doing. In the human brain, you have the reptilian brain, which is regarded as, um, they said reptilian brain is over six million years, right? That's the part of the brain that it's dependent on. It, all it does, tries to do is to avoid death, um, avoid what is injurious to you, to you. Then you have the limbic system. Limbic system basically is responsible for your emotion. Its own thing is to think about um, pain and pleasure. But you have the neocortex, which is the rational mind. That's the part that can think, that can question, that can say, why should I need to do this? Which is what your children are using perfectly that you are trying to kill now. So why would you talk to me? He's asking, human beings, neocortex. I'm rational, I'm okay, right? You are dead, you are no longer living because you have been conditioned, but I'm still living. <laughs> So what you are trying to do is to kill the child. Yeah, wait, wait. Once curiosity is taken out of a child, you have done a successful job in taming him. As a matter of fact, ferocious curiosity. That's why children keep asking you, what is this? Why? 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 But that why is upsetting you.